This American girl's name is Mari. More than 3 million Americans are named Mari. Maryam is an Iranian girl and one of the most popular names in Iran. Almost 2 million Iranians are named Maryam. Both of them are between 20 to 30 years old. Both of these names originate from the name of Saint Mary. Where Maryam lives differs a great deal from where Mary lives. A larger percentage of women where Mary lives are employed, yet they are forced to work more since they pay less than men. This statistic was stated by an institution from the Mary's country. Mariams are free to choose whether to work or not in their country and enjoy the same wages as men. Marys are not entitled to a paid maternity leave, whereas Mariams are given 24 weeks of paid maternity leave. Susan Follody, an American author and journalist, states that imposed feminism in America promotes an easy divorce and financial independence, which in a way encourages promiscuity. According to the New York Times, getting a divorce in Mariam's country is as easy as getting a taxi. Whereas couples sign a contract of loyalty and love according to the Islamic marital laws with terms such as varying daily expenditure in Maryam's country. This acts an assurance that each one in marriage would play their role and not seek divorce out of personal interests. The female suicide rate in Mary's country is twice as much as Maryam's country. Just as Mary and Maryam's share the same origin in their names, they share the same feminine needs, emotions and concerns. Paying attention to elements and requirements of growth for a woman, such as marriage, motherhood, her gender, and liberty to choose a profession, is vital. In your opinion, is Mari's country a better place for women to live, or Mariam's?